Creators, it's Tuesday. I want to say thank you for the warm welcome that I received from all of you and all the subscribers, all the wonderful comments and um, major encouragement. Uh, it made me feel very welcome. And several of you said that you wanted to see the cross stitch that I'm working on. So here is that. Um, that's all I've gotten done on it so far. But this is what it will look like right there. And then there are a couple other ones on the page. There's four of them. There's a dove and a stag and a star along with the tree. So that is what I'm working on for Christmas. And when I was going through my cross stitching stuff, and I'm sure this never happens to any of you, uh, subscribers or knitters, <laughs> that you find things that you started on and you stopped for some reason or another and forgot about it. That's the case with Yosemite Sam. <laughs> I still have a gun to do on him and then to outline the gun in the hands and I'll be done and I think there may be some work on it too but I'm not really sure I haven't looked. I'm hoping to get that finished uh, at some point as well. So that is the cross stitching that I'm working on. I did finish the shoulder that I worked on last week and I will insert a picture here. My sweet Grammy was uh, sweet enough to model it for me, and, and I made it for her. So uh, it was, you know, sweet that she decided that she would want to be on camera. She didn't want her face on camera, so it's just a neck down picture. So on to TV awesomeness. Uh, Supernatural was incredible. I don't know if any of you guys are caught up or not. I don't really want to spoil it for those of you that aren't caught up. So if you want to discuss it, let me know down here in the comments and we'll discuss. I don't want to spoil anybody. Ringer just keeps getting better and better and better and better. So I cannot wait for the episode tonight. I'll have to watch it tomorrow though because I won't be home tonight. I've got rehearsal tonight. So that's a show that needs to be watched by everybody. And Terra Nova. I watched about an hour of it this morning. I still have about a half hour left. It's okay. I want to like it. I want to like it a whole lot just because I like the whole post-apocalyptic thing. But I don't know. It's just not really grabbing me like I, I think it should. So we'll just I'll give it a couple more weeks and see how that does. Pan Am. If you're not watching Pan Am, you should watch Pan Am. You can watch it on Hulu, and it will definitely have me coming back next week. Hopefully, it'll keep me interested. It looks really neat, and I really like Christina Ricci anyway. So, now on to bookie awesomeness. Get my cross stitch stuff out of the way. This is what I'm reading currently. It's called First Test. It's about a 10 year old girl who wants to be um, a knight. So, she is going to be a page and she's in page training they don't want her there uh, it's not really looked favorably upon for women to become knights there's only one and the only reason she is a knight is because she also has magic so it's really good so far and it's part of um, a couple of series there's several there's it's called the Tortal book series this I have been waiting to read since I saw the YouTube video for it like last year, I think, or something. Maybe it was earlier this year. Mrs. Pettigrew's Home for Peculiar Children. This is my next read right here. <laughs> so, I, I did finish Evermore. That's what I was reading last week. did finish Evermore, but the next one in the series isn't checked in, so I have to wait on that one. I've not seen the movie for this yet. So I thought I'd read the book first and then see the movie and see how it compares. Uh, speaking of that, I will put a link right here on my hand, right here, for readitfirst.com. Have, have you guys all signed up for that, subscribers and readers? Uh, I'm signed up for that, so that looks really cool, something that Hank Green came up with. And this book here. I do judge books by their covers and this one just looked really good. 
So I picked it up. I have I haven't even read the back of it, but it looks like it would be a good book. <laughs> they tell you growing up, don't judge a book by its cover, but I do. So that's it for reading. Let's see. My next knitting project will be um, an eleventh doctor scarf. And a lot of people that I know that watch it didn't even know he had a scarf. And I caught it the first time it was going as I was watching A Christmas Carol when he opens the door. I think it's like the third time. It's after the fezes when they all have the fez on. <laughs> uh, and so I really like the colors in that. So as soon as I can work up a pattern for that, then I will go out and buy some colors and make that. I really like the... Um, the colors in that too it's like a burgundy and a grayish white color and um i think it's a yellow like a mustardy yellow or something yellow ochre i don't know what you want to call it but it's really pretty uh now on to videos jenny um thank you for coming up with the theme this week i think it's a great theme uh, i hope i stuck to it <laughs> um You'll have to post a picture or a link to the sweater you're planning on making the Watson sweater. I really, really loved Sherlock. And have you watched Jekyll yet? You really, really should. All of you should. Jekyll is great. And uh, Kayla, I loved your your shirt, your Doctor Who shirt. Where did you get it? Post a link. I would like to know. I would like to buy one. I really like that. And let's see. Michael, where were you last week? Missed you. Missed you. Um you've been you just you're just missed you need to come back make some videos tell us how you are so hope everything's going well and hope to see you thursday uh miera it was good to see you and uh glad your larping trip was you know a good success and i can't wait to see you guys what you post this week about your awesomeness so that is about it and i will see kayla tomorrow